Hello, insiders. If you're considering taking a break from uploading, I have two pieces of good news for you. One, YouTube systems do not disadvantage channels that take a break, whether that break is a few days or a few months. And two, many channels actually perform better after they take a break. This video is here to take you through the why, when, what, and how of taking a break without it actually affecting your channel. But actually, before we get to the why, let's start with the who the heck am I. I'm Mike, your neighborhood-friendly global content strategist here at YouTube. But before I joined YouTube as an employee, for years I was a YouTube creator. It was amazing, it was my dream job, but even dream jobs have to adhere to the basic rules of reality, specifically that we, as mere mortals, need a break, even from a dream job. Okay, so now that we're friends, let's go to part one. Why should you take a break? You know, there are so many reasons to take a break, but the TLDR is that self-care is a good long-term investment for you, for your creativity, and for your channel. So two, when should you consider taking a break? Obviously, you know yourself best, but here are some of the signs that you might be seeing the early stages of burnout and it might be worth considering taking a break. One sign might be maybe you're feeling like you just can't create anymore. Now, the National Institutes of Health states that you may be experiencing burnout if, I'm gonna consult the literature, you feel an overwhelming exhaustion, feelings of cynicism and detachment from the job, and a sense of ineffectiveness and lack of accomplishment. Burnout can affect anybody. My friend Katie Morton actually did a wonderful video about burnout, which we'll include in the description below. So okay, you wanna take a break. That brings us to number three, how to take a break. What? should a break look like? Well, the truth is it looks different for every creator. Some creators unplug completely, while others decide that they still would like to engage with their audience while they're on break, but in ways that are less stressful. For instance, you might consider recruiting guest hosts for your channels using tools like Stories or the Community tab, or even repurposing some of your old content into greatest hits, best of compilations. And so finally, let's get to the all important number four, how to successfully set yourself up for a break. The first tip is, whenever possible, plan your break in advance. It's common for channels to see those seasonal fluctuations in performance. Uh, maybe there's a certain time of year when your ad revenue is lower than it is otherwise. That might be a great time to take a break. Secondly, make a video explaining why you're taking a break. I've always been deeply moved by how incredibly supportive the YouTube community can be. And sharing your vulnerability with your audience can just strengthen that connection you have with them even more. Third, let viewers know when you'll be back. This can help build anticipation for your return, which kind of preps them to be ready to re-engage with your channel when you're back. And lastly, come back strong. Try to make your first video back extraordinary and very clickable and just very exciting. Okay, so to recap, one, we all need breaks. Two, YouTube doesn't disadvantage channels that take a break. And three, there are many ways that you can set yourself up for a successful break. Thank you guys so much for watching. On a personal note, this was the first video I've hosted in four years. If you have any questions about taking a break, please let us know and we'll try to answer them in the comments section or in a future video.